Hello and welcome to the first video in a three-part series on Maple Learn Art. Maple Learn is a very powerful mathematics notebook, great for doing assignments, working through problems, and writing informative documents. You can also use it to make beautiful math-based art, which is what we'll be covering today. For additional information, check out Maple Learn's document gallery, which contains dozens of how-tos and an art collection with some inspiring examples. Also, if you're interested in taking your art to the next level, consider submitting a piece to the Maple Conference Maple Learn Showcase. If you're watching this video earlier than October 14th, 2022, there is still time to submit a piece. Without further ado, let's get into it. At its core, all Maple Learn art is created with a combination of these four things, geometry, functions, the plot window, and color. So we're going to look at all of these. Geometry is really easy to set up and learn because there's a whole bunch of templates here in the geometry commands palette. Just choose the one you want and it will give you a placeholder template. Replace these values with your own data and you'll have your shape. For example, the circle command needs the coordinates of its center and a value for the radius. And just like that, we have a circle. You can see all the other shape commands here using a similar format. The point command needs the coordinates of just one point. The triangle command needs the coordinates of three points. And the polygon command can take as many coordinates as you want, and it will connect each one sequentially into one closed shape. Once you're more familiar with Maple Learn, you can also manually type out these commands instead of using the templates in the geometry palette, and they'll work exactly the same. I'm going to cover two additional commands while we're here in the geometry section. You can surround any geometry command with shaded, and it will color in the shape for you. You can also add text to your art plot using a similar format with the label command. Type in the word label, then the coordinates of the point you'd like to label and the text. And just like that, the text will appear in the plot. Any text formatting changes you apply here in the document, such as changing the text color or size, will also automatically apply to the text that's in the window. Even these shapes alone are enough to make some great art, but let's look at functions as well. You can plot pretty much any 2D mathematical function in Maple Learn. Learn has all the hits, trigonometric functions and exponential functions and weird complicated functions that make hearts and stuff. Maybe you could use an inequality to shade something in. Ooh, ah. You can even do parametric functions using this template here. Place the X value and Y value in square brackets, then a vertical bar operator, then the range of your parametric variable. Note that if you're using X and Y for your functions, make sure you choose a parametric variable other than X and Y, such as T. Once you've started using geometry and functions, you're already well on your way to making some art. So let's look at the window itself. The plot window is how you view your beautiful creation. Each group has its own separate plot window and you can only see the elements in the currently selected group. You can resize the plot window by clicking and dragging this little gray bar right here to let your art take center stage. This little area below the plot window is the context panel, a quick access menu for all sorts of useful calculations like differentiation. However, if you're making art, you're probably not going to need these, so you can hide it. You can pan across your plot by clicking and dragging and zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. By changing these settings here, you can also only zoom horizontally or only zoom vertically. Maple Learn also has a smart zoom feature where it tries its best to automatically zoom in uh, to cover the most of your stuff. And it will live update when you add new things to your plot. But once you've found the perfect canvas size that you're happy with, you can lock it in place. 
and Smart Zoom will stop making changes. You can also manually change your plot axes by clicking that gear icon and setting these X and Y ranges. You can also change the axes here. You can remove the thick axes lines, show only vertical or only horizontal lines, or get rid of the axes altogether. Perfect for creating a blank canvas. Personally, I like to leave the grid lines in place while I'm making my art to help with precise coordinate placement. Then I remove the axes when my art is ready to present. Finally, in this video, we're going to look at adding color. Next to any function or geometry command in your plot, you'll see this little legend showing you the current color of that object. You can click on it to change the color and click here to access our beautiful color selector. We have tons of presets and a color wheel of fully customizable options. Once you set a specific color, it will be saved in the presets for the rest of your document so you can make multiple things have the same color. There's another way to do that very easily that saves both time and space. You can put multiple plots or shapes on the same line by separating them with commas. Then if you click on the color selector and choose apply to all plots in cell, you can automatically make all of the plots the same color in just a few clicks and only one line of work. These pieces are more than enough to create some beautiful Maple Learn art, but there's still more to cover. In the next video, I'll be showing you some more advanced tips and tricks that I like to use. And in the third video, we'll put it all together and walk through a full art example. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching and have fun with Maple Learn Art.